somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn guys tonight we are wrapping up the monster verse temporarily mm. uh with 2021's godzilla versus kong Ooh. now this is the end of the franchise for now however the word is there's a new one coming so we're definitely going to check that out yes the next one is coming in 2024 you know and obviously I came in not knowing anything about any of the series, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to finish this part of the chapter yeah, of the, first, the series. The first one was a little bit slow, but the Kong mm -hmm. movie and then oh. the second Godzilla, I mean, those were pretty fun movies to watch, so I'm really excited to see where this one takes us. I'm a little, a little nervous about, you know, the, the big guys going at it. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why they can't just set <laughs> yeah. their differences aside, but... Let's see what uh, let's see what the story brings. Well, us just like those movies learn from their mistakes. So let's go. Hey folks, thanks for joining us for today's video. Now we want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor of today's video, Stylin' Boxes. Now we'd love to give you a sneak peek at what's all inside, but these are mystery boxes, so you're not going to be able to see it right now, but we know you guys are going to love everything that is all included in these boxes. It's all licensed merchandise, and this is the perfect gift for that TV, movie, or pop culture fan in your life. These boxes are made by fans, for fans. Stylin' Boxes has over a hundred different themed mystery boxes to choose from. They've got Harry Potter, not just Harry Potter, but a box for each house. They've got Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Marvel, Hellfire Club, Super Mario Brothers, so many choices. Once you've found the style in box you want, purchasing it couldn't be any easier. Simply click on the one you want, you'll then be directed to be able to buy with Amazon Prime. Fast, simple, and easy. And for a limited time with the code BADZILLA, that's bad with two Ds, Zilla, you're gonna get $10 off each one of your mystery boxes. We're gonna drop the link right down below to make it quick and easy to find this Godzilla box on Stylin' Boxes. The only question for bad medicine is, who's gonna go home with the Godzilla box? Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Just taking That'd a snooze. She's waiting. Oh. oh look at those teeth. <laughs> this could be a comedy? Uh, talk about the life. He's scratching, scratching his, his ass. <laughs> oh my god. This is a new side of Kong yeah. that we haven't seen before. <laughs> if he brushes his teeth with the tree. I don't think so. Uh, what is he gonna be doing with that? Oh, I'll remember they said they were keeping tabs. That's right. Oh, she's got like a Kong doll. Yeah. It's crazy what they're doing with the sound, though. It's crazy what they're doing with his face. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like as real as it gets. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> oh. Uh. Do worms ever make that uh, oh. javelin? What the hell? <laughs> They got him encased in something? Oh, they kidnapped him and brought him into a some sort of bile dome. Well, they said it was somewhere on Skull Island, though. Did they just build that around it? There we go. Monarch, oh, it is on Monarch Skull Island. built an outpost there like they had everywhere else. Yep. That's right. The habitat's not going to hold much longer. The island is the one thing that's kept him isolated. If he leaves, Godzilla will come for him. There can't be two <sighs> Alpha Titans. It's gotten too big over time. This environment won't sustain much longer. Just letting your kid play with Kong? <laughs> yeah, like Kong has him. been pretty Gentile. Yeah. Well, if they got him in a contained environment, he's not dealing with the skull, skull crushers, crushers. things. Yeah. Or helicopters. Yeah. Finding the origin of these creatures is essential to mankind's survival. Man, I really like how they do these intros ever since the first one. There's Alexander Skarsgård. The Admiral begins his expedition. The purpose is the discovery and the release to the world of the unknown treasures of Antarctica in the interest of all mankind. That's where they found the thing. I remember seeing that hollow earth. <laughs> oh, Lance Reddick. Kyle Chandler. Oh. 
Was uh was that the first movie? 104 feet. Did you see that? That's what it said, huh? 104 feet tall. Yeah, they had some of the stats on Godzilla, but it was too fast. Disembowelment. Maybe the last podcast I ever record. After five years of deep cover at Apex Cybernetics, I'm finally taking my shot. Something bad is going on here. I don't know what it is, but I'm about to walk in and download hard evidence and expose a vast corporate conspiracy. Jesus, what wow. the hell is that place? When we started Apex Cybernetics, we dreamt of new ways to push past the limits of human potential. Robotics, the human mind, artificial intelligence, and Walter Simmons. We're not going anywhere. But neither are you. The old Swiss Army knife. Uh, is it a Swiss Army knife with a with a jump the, drive on yeah, it? Yeah, with a USB. <laughs> Bernie, you're not supposed to be in here. Why are you here? This isn't engineering. I'm rendering these new specs, which is going to take over uh, uh, this calculator mode <laughs> over one hour, maybe even more. So my foreman told me to just uh, take a walk. This is hand sanitizer that I made from my own garden. It's really amazing. That right there is radio mesh networking with a voice record subprocessor. Guess from what? Come on. I don't care. A toaster. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Is it one or two? Because if it's two, it's probably from these Apple. Oh, that was his plan all along. There it yep. is. The Swiss Army knife of a new era. <laughs> is that just having a jump drive? Yeah. We're all cool. What's up, level 33? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we already got Titans escaping. Okay, Titan alert. It's been a minute since we've had one of these, huh? Mm hmm. Every time he surfaces, there's a uh, 10 billion in damage. <laughs> How's your chance? Yeah, that way. It's five! Wait, why are they? Why have did they learned their lesson the first what's, time? I don't get what's happening now. Oh, Jesus, he's messing shit up. Where's your clearance tag? You know what? The fact that you're talking about clearance tags right now in a time of crisis is incredibly unprofessional. Ah! Whoa. Well, he doesn't have to worry about that anymore, I guess. The United States Navy's fourth fleet is deployed off the southeastern seaboard of the U.S. after last night's sudden Godzilla attack. Governments around the world aren't taking any chances. Hey. All right. Oh, everything's fine now. She's in it. Oh, my God. I was there. Godzilla's apex attack. I saw it go down. No such thing as coincidence. Dad, I'm telling you, there is something provoking him that we're not seeing here. Why else would Godzilla flash an intimidation display if oh, there, there wasn't is. another Titan around? We needed a plan to keep peace with these things, and the best one we had just went down in flames. Godzilla saved us. You were there with Mom. You saw it. How could you doubt him? There has to be a pattern here. There doesn't. A reason why he was provoked. There isn't. How do you know that? Because creatures like people can change. So cut your pop some slack, would you? Godzilla attacks when provoked. That's the pattern. <laughs> That's right. She was drinking coffee in the first one already. Yeah. That apex is at the heart of the problem. Can I help you? Guys like you and me, <laughs> we don't do normal hours, do we? Your theory that it's the birthplace of all titans is fascinating. Your book was very impressive. Well, I got about 30 unsold boxes in my apartment if you want some. <laughs> Godzilla has never attacked us unprovoked before. Allow me to introduce our Apex Chief Technology Officer, Mr. Ren Serizawa. Magnetic awesome. imaging from one of our new satellites. Looks like one of them globes oh, you put your hand on. Yeah, they <laughs> give the electricity a flow through it. Well, this energy signal is enormous. I don't know if I'm the right guy for the job. <laughs> I'm in the basement right across from flute class, and hollow earth entry is impossible. I tried. I'm sorry about your brother. He was a true pioneer. See, all of our forward scans suggest a habitable environment down there. What really went wrong on your brother's mission? He had a gravitational inversion. A whole planet's worth of gravity reversed in a split second. They were crushed in an instant. But we, at Apex, have created a phenomenal craft which could sustain such an inversion. The Hollow Earth Aerial Vehicle. 
We need you to lead the mission. Help me. Finding this needle in a haystack. Yes, and a big payday is going to come with this. You and one would hope. So if, if this is the Titan's home, and this life force sustains them, a Titan could show you the way. With a little help of an old colleague. Oh, okay. Okay. Is it? Dr. Andrews, you have a visitor waiting for you at security. Okay. This sounds nuts, Nathan, even for you. Second, you take Kong out of containment. Godzilla's gonna come for him. No way am I letting you drag him halfway across the world to use him as a weapon. No, not as a weapon, as an ally. To protect us. Lead the way down there. Through the entrance in Antarctica, we could help mm -hmm. him find a new home. He could save ours. This is our only chance. We have to take it. Yeah, he's gonna eventually break through. Okay. Yes, all right. But when it comes to Kong, what I say goes. Who <laughs> named the terms? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Together. They got him on that giant cargo <laughs> ship or what? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. How many sedatives do they give him? Yeah. Oh, look at him just. <laughs> oh, he's all. Oh, he's starting to move around a little bit. That's not good. Jeez, I can smell him from up here. Yeah. They use a light touch on the sedatives. Can't have him comatose when we reach Hollow Earth. What if Kong doesn't go willingly? What do you do then? Dr. Lind, please report to the forward deck. <laughs> <laughs> so, Quinn, you didn't like Planet of the Apes, so what no. about this? It's, I don't know what's worse, a bunch of them or just one massive one? I'm Maya Simmons. My father sent me. Yeah, don't worry. I'm just here to babysit. Forget about the price tag, which is obscene, of course. The anti-gravity <laughs> engines alone produce enough charge to light up Vegas for a week. Feel free to be impressed. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. He's like, it's out in the this rain. Some bullshit. Once we're inside, Kong should lead us to the power source. If your helicopters are as good as you say, heaves. if your heaves are as good as you say they are, I believe we can do this. Don't do the job. You just gotta do yours. Excellent. We've avoided all Godzilla's known territorial waters according to your guidelines. They do have a way of sensing threats, and we believe that they have an ancient rivalry. The myths say that their ancestors fought each other in a great war. So if they meet again, who bows to who? Is that it? Kong bows to no one. 100 foot tall silverback, basically. <laughs> Carl, stay in the house. Is she supposed to be out there? <laughs> he just lets her walk out. <laughs> well, she's not afraid of him at all. She lived with him her whole life. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Oh. So I'll just sit here in the rain, I guess. Oh, did Kong learn how to sign? Oh, oh. yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a twist. Wow. In the midst of Godzilla's attack on Apex Pensacola, I found some crazy tech with no official classification. What I saw doesn't match any of the engineering specs I've ever seen. This could be the thread that finally unravels the apex sweater of conspiracy. And you better believe I'm going to keep tugging. For now, I'm secure. To be clear, my brother can never know we took his van. Josh, to be clear, even if we got into an accident, I don't think he can tell. No, no, my brother would never let you drive either. <laughs> they did. <laughs> Assembly. <laughs> One or two gallons won't cut it. I need my bleach in bulk. He consumes a ton of bleach. He drinks bleach. Showers with it. <laughs> oh, shout, yeah, I shower with bleach. No, what? Prevention against organic tracking technology. See? Trade craft. Hey, you sell bleach? Look, we're looking for a guy who works for Apex Cybernetics. Buys a lot of bleach. You kids want some candy? Because I can help you with candy. What are you doing? You think oh, you mean... Bernie. Yeah, I know that guy. He buys like a ton of bleach. I know where he is too. If you buy a live fish, I'll give you his address. Hi, 
Listen, we want to talk about Apex and Godzilla. No, I, I can't take the door to death. I'm knocking on a door. No, no. Bernie, you don't trust the authorities. Emma Russell, right? Tap or no tap? No tap. Excuse me, what is tap? Water. They put fluoride in it, earned it from the Nazis. I drink tap water. Yeah, I kind of figured that. <laughs> I believe Godzilla's most recent attacks haven't just been random. And for five years, I've been myself inside this company trying to figure out what their game was. I saw this. A manifest of huge cargo being sent from here to Apex headquarters in Hong Kong, which makes no sense because we are not equipped for heavy shipping. I was hidden in a secret bunker. I mean, some pretty damn suspicious tech. But what is that? That's, um, that's Gustin' a single malt whiskey. It was a gift from my Sarah. She was my wife. Um, she passed on. I think we can help each other. We're breaking into Apex. Wait, what? You heard her? <laughs> you heard her. Jesus. Tap, Tap water. water. <laughs> oh, cool. Longitude and oh. longitude. Oh. <laughs> Having some fish sticks. <laughs> oh, that's what sucks, though. Now everyone knows. Yep. Now he's more intelligent than they thought. Okay, that must be his brother. That was extraordinary. I have been signing the alphabet, basic commands. I thought that he showed recognition, but he never... Do you have any idea how long they've been communicating? No, he trusts her. You know, Gia's parents were killed on the island. Oh. Uh -oh. I thought it was her daughter the whole time. Do you think he would take directions from her? No. If we have someone who can keep the reins on Kong. Yeah, no one can keep the reins on Kong. And she's a child. She doesn't want him there anyways. No, no. We need Kong to find that power source. What you saying? Godzilla. Oh, it looks like he's coming for us anyway. He's not coming for us. Him? Then dump him. Dump the monkey. How about we throw you off instead, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, oh. they're not going to do anything. Oh, Holy shit. Ripping it right in half. He ripped that ship right in half. Like nothing. Oh. Oh, it's got the anchor on him. Oh. Oh, shit. That whole ship just got flipped over. Oh. Oh, Godzilla's. He's pissed. All right, now we're in business. Oh, headbutt. Oh, Saigon kick. Uh, flipping it back over. This is wild. <laughs> Holy shit. Wasn't expecting a battle at sea. No, not at all. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look at them ups! Oh, sweet. Uh, because he's trying to warn him not to go. I think. Just gonna borrow you for a minute. <laughs> Just throw <laughs> it. <laughs> eject, eject! <laughs> Here the uh, aircraft go. carrier oh! meant to hold that kind of weight. Yeah. That's like a trailer. They always underrate him. Oh, oh, oh he was getting he ready. Was like, yep. Yeah, he was he getting wants. ready to throw that blue flame. Oh, Back elbow. elbow. Uh oh, look uh -oh. away. Uh oh, uh -oh. Get back up, that. homie. Oh, oh, look at the jump off the oh. ship. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, kicking him. <laughs> he needs our help. Death charges. Oh, he's <laughs> launching them. Just a few of them, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> needs to uh, take on Godzilla on the land. This won't end until one of them submits. 
Shut it down. Right now. If we do that, we're dead. No, we're playing dead. Then we're making him think that he's won. Kill anything that makes a noise. As long as somebody's cell phone doesn't go off, we're okay. <laughs> <Somebody's>, <laughs> <some> <laughs> Oh, she's <laughs> waving to him. How are we supposed to get the rest of the way? How's Kong with heights? What, are they going to bring in some Chinooks? <laughs> yeah, and, like, like, just, airlift them? Like 47 yeah, yeah, of them? Yeah, they're going to need, like, a good amount. It's going to look like a puppet. What? We find out what's on sub-level 33. Ow. Okay. This facility would be heavily, <laughs> heavily guarded. They'd have a perimeter fence set up around it. All right, calm down. Just saying. Are you sure we can trust this guy? Yeah, why? Well, mainly because he says crazy shit all the time and carries a bottle of whiskey from his dead wife like a- <laughs> <laughs> uh, What are we looking at? It's gone now. No, no, no. No, oh, it was here. Is this it right here? No. Anyone know where this leads to? Well, how deep does this thing go, Bernie? What is all this? It's breakaway civilization. The Illuminati running shadow economies all to fund a hidden colony for the illegal. In case any of these governments and mega corporations accidentally hit the doomsday button, it makes sense if you break. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Someone's coming. Oh my god. Uh, oh. what? They look like eggs. Skull crawlers. Ah! Ah! What was that? What was that? Where are they sending those things? Are they gonna send them deep in the earth and like the holes in the earth? It's like they're on the hole. Oh, it's like they're on the uh, Concord uh, magnets. <laughs> <laughs> they got him in a massive net. <laughs> He's in a hammock. Yeah. And so they're not. There's a couple of Chinooks, but looks like the Ospreys. I think those are Ospreys, right? The big double ones. I yeah. Think so yeah. Oh boy. It's got me in the snow. Oh, don't tell me they got her to do stuff. Not working. Just wait. It's been two it's seconds. Yeah, no relax. We lost our entire fleet getting here. There's no way back for him, and he can't survive here. Yeah. Prepare to launch. Everybody to their station. The icing. That's pretty trippy. Uh, That's so cool. Nice swinging, swinging on those things. <laughs> We're about to be launched a thousand miles in two seconds until gravity inverts itself and spits us into free fall. <laughs> kind of curious to see this myself. Oops. Oh, man. Oh, that was part of the plan. Okay. Okay, so now I get why they showed it during the intro. Yeah. Oh, they came out before Kong. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Whoa. Talk, talk about cutting it close. Uh, do we know how exactly to get back out? Oh. <laughs> if you're going to spew, spew into this. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's uh try to remember some of the interesting creatures we saw find our way back. Skull that we've encountered already oh we got pterodactyls yeah and then mountains up top oh. whoa Ooh. oh what was that what? oh that's a new shit. one that thing is gross looking uh Oh, oh shit! Kong is smoking these guys. 
Yeah, you're not, you're not gonna not. Oh, oh. there you go. He'll choke slam. Oh. Ooh, he's breaking oh, some wings. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, doing the old Hulk smash. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. is. <laughs> oh, oh, there, yep, yeah, there goes its head. Yeah. You don't even know what's in that thing. And we've been down there for exactly two minutes and ran into that thing, so. Oh. Okay, giant Komodo dragons. Yeah. Add those to the list. <laughs> Look at that. Wonder if that's the energy source they're looking for. <laughs> that's neat. Jeez. I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. Is he gonna, do? Is he gonna dunk? <laughs> Just like when he touches the little girl's hand. So many questions. Okay, keep quiet. Follow me. We're going in? Yeah. I thought they were gonna open a door and right there we're gonna be soldiers, you know, <laughs> waiting for him. Security. <laughs> Well, if there's a corporate friendly term for sacrifice pit, I'd say we are in it. Uh, what are you in it with? All personnel are to stay clear of the area. Systems are coming online now. No way. It's, is that going to be Mecha? Is that, is that Mecha oh Godzilla? Oh my god, yes. It, if it is, he was featured on our... Uh, Holy shit, he's gonna pilot our, this thing. On our thing. styling boxes. That's why Godzilla's attacking. Yeah. I did not expect a mecha Godzilla. Oh, see his eyes rolling back yeah. in the back of his head a la Undertaker. <laughs> That's mecha Godzilla. Oh, are they raising the skull uh, crusher things for him to play with? That's what I'm thinking yeah. to test them with, yeah. Release number 10. Is he gonna light him up? Oh, holy shit. That thing wasn't even a challenge. No. Oh, Just cutting him in half. Oh, oh that's a lot of slime. Reach 40% power. Yeah, I know. Once the follower sample is uploaded, our power troubles will be over. I have faith in my daughter. My humanity will once again be the apex species. This is why Godzilla attacked the apex facility. Oh, he's sent oh. a signal. Now he's heading to Hong Kong. Godzilla just made an abrupt change in direction. He's moving very fast. Look at that. Oh, that's look at that. fossilized Kong. Yeah, it is. It's Mount Doom. Mount, Mount Doom. <laughs> that has to be it. Think he knows the secret knock? Nice. <laughs> Going through them double doors like Aragorn. <laughs> Well, that's right, curious. So who, who built all this then? It's ancestors. I guess. It's like a giant Kong statue with his arms above his head in the middle. Oh, look at this. That's Come on. Weapon. That looks like a Godzilla the, scale. Godzilla scale, yeah. In the heads of one of the, uh, the skull crushers. We were right. He's home. Yeah, I'm not getting out there. <laughs> nope. Hard pass. <laughs> Real hard pass. Oh, uh, those things. That's what I'm saying. Yep. Back see? in the ship. Watch out for the giant bats. Cybernetics. Now they say cybernetics. Now we definitely know. It's the Titan Scout. No, 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 no. But it's not just any Titan. That's Master Zero. Kidora. Oh, because remember, he could regenerate. Oh, weren't they selling one at the end of the last yeah. one, remember? That's right. Good call, Oak. It's a pilot? Yeah. He's in a trance. It follows his will. Oh, here comes our guy. Yep. Whoops. Oh, just had to take the bridge out, huh?
Oh, he sure loves cruising around in his Hummers, doesn't <laughs> yeah. he? Oh, something's activating. It means Godzilla's close. Either that or orcs are near. <laughs> There's so right. orcs. Going is. Blue. There's orcs. What is he doing? Oh, is it because it belongs to Godzilla and Godzilla's glowing blue? Yeah, that mm -hmm. that thing's glowing be. blue at the same time. And he lays it down in there. And... It's drawing radiation from the core like it's charging. Is he gonna have an axe that shoots lightning bolts? Why like a not? Because they, they said like it was a charging. Menorah, like freaking. Whoa! What's going on like here? Thor? Oh, look at that! It's like Godzilla. <laughs> Oh, he wants to blow a hole in the yeah. earth. He's going down in there. Straight down. What are you doing? Extracting the sample. My father gets what he wants. And that's just signature incoming. That is the discovery of the millennium. You can't strip it for parts. Hold it. Ah, uh, of course. Godzilla uh -oh. starting to get through. Go, go, we need it. Let's go. The upgrade is fantastic. Once we get online, Godzilla will come straight for us. He's been coming for us since our creation first awoke. We must embrace it. We have no idea how this energy source will affect the mecha. We're in the goddamn chair. Let's. I've. I'm really waiting for her to get hers. Oh. Uh, oh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell was that? Is oh, that is that axe? Godzilla coming through? Oh, yeah, it must be. Yep. There he is. Whoa. Oh. Go, go, go. You shouldn't All have right. shot him, you dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Take a bite. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I'm cheering like, for Kong on that one. <laughs> but seriously, why shoot? Just go around him. He would have let you go. Uh, just one? That's just kinda, one? That's kind of character Whoa, she was. <laughs> the classic. Just, poking your head up. Just sneaking around <laughs> some ultra classified <laughs> building. Barely an inconvenience. Barely an inconvenience. No fingerprint scans, no retina scans, <laughs> no palm scans. He's got an old flip phone <laughs> taking photos. You know, if this wasn't contributing to world destruction, this would be a great DJ booth. Hey, guys. Hey, I'm, it's soundproof, so I can't really. I want to communicate. Open the door. Say again? Oh, God. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Smart, he could have taken out the machines. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. Yes. He's back. Oh, you thought the Marvel Wars destroyed the city. Wait till you see what's about to go down here. Oh, no. Oh, that city's toast. Ah! Screw this building. That office building. Oh, that one's done. Oh! oh. He likes that dust you always oh, going. Oh. He's got some. Kong likes that, that jaw tail. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The nice. handle. Yep. Drop kick. Oh. 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 oh, look at that. He can block it with it. the axe. Oh, oh, right to the thigh. Run. Run. There. Yeah, there's our classic Kong climbing buildings. Oh. Oof. Oh, clipped him. Oh, laser is back pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I don't play in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, but now they're almost getting shot by Zilla. What's he going to do with that? Oh, shield. <laughs> Oh, 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 did he go for the head? 
<laughs> the whole city's just wrecked. Nope. <laughs> Looks like round two goes to Kong. For now. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Really? Greenpeace again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm level two assistant engineering. We're provisional. Level two assistant engineering. Not like you would know that. Director Russell's daughter. Yes? You caused all of this. You provoked him into war. There can only be one of Miss Russell. Oh, he's oh, back. He's shaking, shaking it off. off a little. He's good to go. Yep. Oh, there's oh, a scene there's with Tom yeah. on top of the building. Right there. Yeah, that's the one. Nice. Oh, into the building. He doesn't have much of a neck to hang on to, though. You know, he could slip out of that. No, not really. Oh, Ooh. going for the old stomp. Oh, oh did the old Gus Ferrat. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, getting the foot, oh, bite his toe. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's awesome. What's happening here? We submitted. What he established himself as the alpha. Yeah. Now it's done. Yep. Ooh, Kong's a mess. Mm-hmm. Taking pilot integration. My maker. It's not only Godzilla's equal, but his superior. It's time to show the world what you can do. Oh, is the old uh, monster brain taking over? You see, ten years ago, when Gojira was first oh. revealed oh, to the world, yep. I saw it. Yeah, it's got a mind it's of its the, own. Is the old the, thing the, the, yeah. operating through him? Yeah, the old one is. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, oh. How everybody, that's how everybody goes in this. Yep. With the, oh, shit. Yep. Oh, there he goes. Oh, too. He's, oh he's done. done. He's... I really want to hear the rest of that speech. That's, is it Ghidorah? Is that how you say it? The old one? Yeah. Play that's how she said yeah. it, but, but otherwise, Monster Zero. Yeah, Monster Zero is back and he's got a new body. Jeez. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, jeez. He's got missiles. <laughs> Come oh. on! Look at that! We have to warn Monarch. We'll try to stop it ourselves. They think so, until they said a lot. If I can figure out the password, maybe we can shut it down. Huh? Oh, oh, holy shit. A little meat grinder punch. Oh, she's going to be mad at her. She can feel his heartbeat. He's dying. There's nothing we can do to restart his heart. We'd have to produce a charge big enough to... Light up Las Vegas for a week. Ah, oh, the ship. <laughs> They're going to juice him. Well, I wasn't that far <laughs> off. What the hell? That's an adrenaline <laughs> shot. <laughs> They're going to give him the old uh, defibrillator. Yeah, it's basically crank. Crank 2. Space defibrillators. Jesus. Oh, Godzilla get that worked. Madison. Where are you, Matt? Madison. Huh. Okay, you two better get some distance. You are a very brave <laughs> 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 oh, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, but he's not going to be able to keep going as long as that mm -hmm. freaking thing can, right? Oh, 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 he's lit up good. Yeah. Yeah, I said before, this guy was only going to save his own skin. I guess I'm eating those words now. Good free for eating some curl. Mm hmm. Oh, 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 oh. I did it. Yeah. Should have had him do oh, it. Oh, pops right back up. <laughs> Hell yes. I was hoping he would do a kip up. <laughs> <laughs> just see up. It just. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh. Oh, he did the old. The weapon <laughs> doing the Mel Gibson. Oh, yeah. oh, he's gonna do the old jaw spreader. Mm -hmm. 
You start ripping parts Oof. off that thing. Oof. Oh! Oh, wow. I oh. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it'd be like me. Sorry, Quinn. I didn't mean, I didn't mean you to get shot by what I did. Oh, he's got the axe just going to town on it. Oof. Oh, oh we almost had him. Oh, no, no, that's no good. Cut that thing off. Drink. Oh, well, drink. oh man. pour it down the vent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's charging up his axe oh, for him. charging up the axe. Oh, he's cutting oh, the pieces. Arm. Oh, the oil coming out and stuff. Oh, there goes that arm. Oh! What are they, oh, what are they doing? Oh, what are they doing the old Monty, Monty yeah, Python? Oh, here comes the killer here shot. Here comes the big one. In the head. Oh! Boom! Yes! Rip that thing apart. Here, he's going to take the head off again. Oh. Oh, what a win. Take more. Take more combat. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. ah. <laughs> I'm just going to... Pass out for I'm just gonna here. rest up against this building. Nathan? Nathan, are you okay? Coward. Yeah, save the day. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Dad! Dad! The entire city. Yeah. <laughs> wiped the entire out. Entire city's <laughs> wiped out. The only complete mess. <laughs> the, the, it was fate. The, <laughs> this is the man who saved our lives. Bernie me dad. I was wondering if I could invite you onto my podcast. <laughs> what are these guys gonna do? Godzilla's like, cool, I'm out for a minute. <laughs> Yeah, Kong dropped his weapon. So. Okay, yeah. so where where are they going with Kong now? Yeah, take him back to Skull Island. I mean, maybe you, you almost half. Well, it looks like that's maybe where they are right now. Coming around for his morning walk. <laughs> <laughs> no, all the work. Oh, okay. oh wow. wow. <laughs> Wow. That's it? No post credits? That's actually maybe, they, maybe that's maybe not they a bad weren't sure how it was gonna end up, but guys, that was 2021's wow. Godzilla versus Kong. I guess I would add in there versus Mecha Godzilla. But man, what a way to wrap up the the monster verse here tentatively anyway for now you know we had the story of course of the two alpha titans who was going to be the big dog who was going to be the one to sort of rule over earth and of course there was always somebody up to no good drinking liquor while he's at work <laughs> you, you knew he was going to be the bad guy right off the bat but uh yeah, we had a bunch of uh characters of course from previous movies although uh chandler really didn't have much of a role in this one uh, yeah, no mark one. he wasn't really hardly in it i was wondering when they said with kyle chandler they yeah. really meant <laughs> they really <laughs> meant kyle yeah, chandler. he's in it a little bit he phoned that one in a little bit you know but um I, uh, the the special effects on this one were outstanding i mean that boat scene or the ship scene rather where Kong and Godzilla first fought. That was super yeah. cool. I mean, a total spin on it that I was not expecting to see. All the different scenes they put the fights in. Because, like, look, at the end of the day, what did you pay your money for? Mm. You paid your money to see Godzilla and Kong just cause some damage, and they certainly did that. Um, the effects were outstanding. The story was cool. We finally got to go to the Hollow Earth and, and see all those creatures. Uh, Kong got himself a, a Thor style axe with a Godzilla <laughs> scale in it. And uh, our, our villains got their comeuppance, I guess. Oh my we, God. we had Kong squish the ship, much to my delight. <laughs> and uh, and um, uh, Simmons, uh, yes, Walt Simmons, he got his uh, with the Mecha Godzilla, which was controlled in the end by the Monster Zero. Which was a cool twist that I, I like they did that. You know, they played back in to the skull, having the ability to um, reanimate itself or self-heal a little bit. And then it eventually took back over the computer system they thought they were going to control. And of course, 
Uh, we'll t we'll discuss a little bit more. Those are just my kind of quick hitter points here. And I gotta say, this one to me matches uh, the last one. 3.75 out of five answers. Very solid, very entertaining for something that isn't normally in my wheelhouse, but I still had a lot of fun with it, of course, watching it with these two. Uh, uh, obviously, you have to go back uh, from John Goodman and Skull Island with the oh shit before his impending <laughs> demise yeah. that we had that in this one. Granted, Goodman was not, you know, a quote unquote villain in that one. Yeah. But, you know, that's how someone met their demise, and I believe that's how somebody did in The King of Monsters as well. So quite <laughs> quite <laughs> fitting that they kept that theme going. Uh, I thought this was a lot of fun to watch. I mean, they had a lot of action, but it wasn't, like, over the top. They didn't go over the top with it and use it too much as, as a, you know, a brace, so to like speak. Crutch, yeah. yeah, as a crutch. But it was a lot of fun, especially, like you said, the battleship scene was amazing. But all the fighting through the city <laughs> was holy mess. <laughs> Mackerel. Was there a lot of damage and destruction done? And I remember what after the first Avengers movies, all the politicians like, who's gonna clean this up? Hmm? So now where's Godzilla? Where's he? Where's King Kong? Are they gonna help rebuild the city? You know, are they gonna be there? Uh, no, but I mean, it was a lot of fun. You know. I wish it would have been more Millie Bobby Brown or more Kyle Chandler, but, you know, they had the right amount, I think, of yeah. uh, airtime it, it in, throughout the, the movie. So, yes, it was. And I did not expect Mecha Godzilla, but that was a nice quite surprise. a surprise. Yeah. So I'm going to have to go with uh, four answers for this one. Nice. I have to disagree with the answer. I think in a good way, everything was as over the top. Just oh. Kong jumping. Oh, oh well, yeah, that's something like <laughs> yeah. even doing the having his hops in there yeah. from battleship yeah. to battleship. The, yeah. I mean, the battleship stuff for me was like, okay, this is what would happen if you had a you know a massive, hundred and four foot tall ape, you know, that you're trying oh, to yeah. cross the uh, the globe uh, on military ships. But the, the, the fight in the city, <laughs> he just had an axe. Like, hell yes. You know? Mm -hmm. um, it, oh, was, it was pretty cool. That I mean, thing this, got charged up. This movie was a lot of fun. I mean, the, the, the thing you got to keep in mind with these movies is you have to suspend some belief, mm -hmm. obviously, um, because of, the, look, just the nature of the story. These titans... Uh, not even the hollow earth like the hollow earth who who knows right like yeah, that was even, pretty cool we don't even know what's at the bottom of our oceans yes. right like 90 percent <laughs> of the oceans are like un unexplored so who knows if hollow earth is a real thing um i, I did have you know I, I did have a couple of issues with a few things the the complete lack of security oh, at a company Madison like able to sneak at in. apex <laughs> that's like and i get for the purpose of the movie it's like they had to be able to sneak around. Right. But, like, we watch movies like, you know, Bond movies or or, or Mission Impossible movies, I, you know, and I haven't really seen all those. But you see some of the scenes where it's like, okay, we got to get the guy and we got to get the thumbprint and the retina scan yeah. and the special code. Look at what Nicolas Cage had to do to get the Declaration of Independence, okay? Now, they are just... <laughs> hey, no spoilers. No haven't spoilers. seen that one yet. All right, well, <laughs> we'll get to, we, should, we need to get to that one. But, like, it's just like this is... The, the most teched out facility, probably on the face of the earth. They're building Mecha Godzilla. And they just, uh, you know, there was a construct, you know, some damage. They just snuck in. The second that place was blown up, it would have been fenced off, heavily armed. Not even any yellow tape. And, they, and then they just like slid down. They just slid as a piece of concrete. We'll just slide down, end up right where we got to go. And then Millie Bobby Brown's just one, two, three, enter. Hey, we're in. We're going to go. It was just to open the doors. There was no code. It was just I, one, two, three. I, I know, wow. but it was just like. But that's also yeah. the absurdity. If there's no code, it just, you had to go right. Yeah. So that, around that the clock. is like, it's, it, you know, it reminds me like Jurassic Park, the original Jurassic Park from 94, all around top to bottom. I mean, just a phenomenal movie, right? But they had Newman. <laughs> and Newman and Samuel L. Jackson uh, uh, on uh, tech. A uh, uh, billion, multi, uh, uh, multi billion dollar park. They were the they weekend had, crew. They had <laughs> two tech guys, two guys. And one guy had the ability to shut down the whole park without any fail safes or anything. So sometimes a, a great movie, and it doesn't make it not a great movie, can just be. It's a little detracting. I'm not sure how I felt about the axe. I mean, it was cool when he picked up the chain 
in like um, Skull Island because yeah. it was just this random thing laying there. Yeah. But the axe was definitely like that was his yeah. axe. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, what is it, Molnar from uh, uh, Minor uh, or Minor? Uh, it's, Molnar it's, is from Thor. I mean, yeah, right. yeah, I know. I think it's Molnar, but it's yeah. some of San Minor, so it's. Uh. You, you have to listen to it a thousand times, and it's pronounced a thousand times. Yeah, and and I would feel awful if I didn't mention how great it was to see, as small as his role was, to see Lance Reddick yep. again uh, on screen. As, that was uh, great. Uh, the guy's been, of course, brilliant in the John Wick yeah. movies. And as small as it was, it was still good to see. He, he had a larger role, but ultimately they didn't uh, need the scene is what they said. So he yeah. said he had two brief scenes. Anyways, continue. Yeah, okay. but so so this was really fun for me. I, I like the idea of like trying to travel to, I keep wanting to say Middle Earth, <laughs> trying to travel to Hollow there was, Earth. There was a lot of Lord I think of the that Rings was, stuff. I think that was cool. Yeah, the you were hell, looking for that ring, weren't Middle you? Earth, yeah. and then there's Mount Doom. It's Come like, on, the axe was starting to glow right. the orcs were near uh, so, so that was cool <laughs> this was a fun movie I, I i if i'm being honest i think i liked skull island in the last godzilla yeah movies. i would agree a little bit better i think it's better than yeah. the, definitely better than the first godzilla yep. movie oh, but now wait. looking yeah. back over the span of the series Head and the shoulders. first godzilla movie from what everybody has said in the comments is kind of paying homage to the original mm -hmm. a little bit slower start knowing that this was going to kind of build up so sometimes in hindsight once you get to the end of a series of movies you look back yeah, in the original sense. and like okay it was kind of um, you know, building a foundation or world building, if you will, for mm -hmm. for the rest of the story. I still thought this was a lot of fun. Um, so for me, I am going to go with four. I got to be perfectly honest. I don't recall, and we should take better notes when we watch series on what we rated <laughs> yeah. each movie. And I think moving forward, we'll do that. But I thought this was a lot of fun. I'm going to match the answer score and uh, and go with a four on this. Now, the one thing I wanted to bounce off you guys first and foremost was... The CGI, because the last mm -hmm. one was what, 2017? 2019. 2019. And for as good as that was, it just, every time we watch a new movie with CGI, it just feels like it's advancing exponentially. To me, this was just incredible visually. It felt a lot like some of the Planet of the Apes movies, just on such a more massive scale. Yeah. Well, see, what was, I thought, nice is they kept all the scars on Kong's chest that you know were there from Skull Island from, the, you know, the first movie they saw. How many years later? How many years earlier and whatnot? But it was cool that they kept it, and I thought that was a nice touch. Yeah, I mean, I think the big thing is if the monsters, quote-unquote, titans, or you want to call them, if they're going to be the featured act of the movie, I think Hollywood's learn, learned their lesson. They damn sure better look good if that's mm. going to be what everybody paid to see and they definitely delivered with the cgi and it's it's crazy it's like how spoiled are we in today's day and age because if you go back 50 or 60 <laughs> years i mean even 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 back to the you know the, the 70s right as we get older you have a distorted time frame for 50 years <laughs> 50 years ago, that's like that's like 1940. No, yeah. that's no, not, not, not so much. No, it's 1980. But if, if you go back <laughs> to like the, if you go back to like the 70s and the 60s and even earlier, it's like a gorilla looked the same in 1960 yeah. as they do now. But to put that on the screen for people, like you watch the original Kong, it's like you don't like okay, this is supposed to be a gorilla. Stop we get motion it. And you know, <laughs> stop motion or even you know, even a guy in a suit and everything's miniaturized. Yeah. Special effects. See the zipper from, up you, the see back. The, you see just a hand just comes in that doesn't move to grab the girl and just move out. Yeah. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like how spoiled are we to watch something where it really it feels like you're watching an actual creature? And I think just the CGI. And I feel like it's going to keep advancing exponentially as we move into the future. I don't know how much more realistic. Look, it looked like a real gorilla. Yeah. Right? And, <laughs> like, and like even stop. the last Planet of the Apes movie, War for the Planet of the Apes, they looked like real gorillas mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and and real, real apes. And so I don't know how much more real you can get. But this was this was pretty incredible. I wanted to. I also wanted like I didn't expect the in the um, Godzilla versus Kong. I, I I wasn't sure what the plot would be. Yeah. Did any of you guys expect to see a team up between the two of them tag team? <laughs> I did not. I did not expect to see the Mecha Godzilla in there at all. That that's was the nice only treat. way I would have expected a, a a team up was if Mecha Godzilla come up because I think that's only. I don't know who else they've like teamed up against in the whole lore. Because I mean, I don't know the whole lore of King Kong right. and Godzilla, 
But I always knew that Mechagodzilla was n n no good, no bueno. So you had to take yeah. him out. So that that was nice watching them work together. I'm curious, answer. How did this do on like Rotten Tomatoes and stuff? Because this yeah, is only well, uh, from 2021, and I gotta be honest, guys, I can't even remember seeing a trailer for this. Uh, I mean, a 75 percent on 388 reviews. Okay, so only, only 388 people reviewed it. Well, that's uh. it's kind of interesting how they do that on there. But I mean. It's you like go three out of five stars somebody gave. So, it. you you look right here then too. Also, they I mean they made four hundred and seventy million. So the budget was money, budget yeah. was one hundred and fifty to two hundred million. They made four hundred and seventy million. Yeah. Scroll down and see answer on on Wikipedia what the um, scroll down a little bit further and see what the reception was like the critical reception. You Wikipedia usually Wikipedia usually brings that up. Um, critical response is what we're looking for. There you go. That's where I was um, with the Rotten Received Tomatoes. generally okay. positive reviews from critics, 75% yeah. on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, to the website's critics' four. consensus read delivering squarely on his title. Got Cinema score response. gave it an A. Swats yeah. away character development and human drama to deliver all the spectacle you'd expect from giant monsters slugging it out. And that's exactly, and that's exactly what, and that's expect, exactly yes. what you're getting. This is another yeah. one where um, you know, I, I would like to see this in the theater. Um, oh, I, yeah. Um, given the, the, the nature of, of our studio setup here, how we have to record, how we're watching, I don't know that we can, <laughs> that, um, that we could have a, a giant theater and, and still, and still do what we do from a technical side, but it would be fun to, um, Answers doing some remodeling at his old house uh, or his old old house, like O L E, not old house, at his house, and yeah. we're gonna yeah. we're gonna we're gonna try to talk him into building a giant theater down there with a stupid seven years is down. quite the old. So once <laughs> no, I, mean, I meant old, I meant old, like O L E, not <laughs> old. No, I know. I know. Um, but uh, so that way, when we're done watching movies and we catch ourselves saying, "Oh, it'd be great to have the theater experience. Mm -hmm. We can sit back in the couch, this nice hundred twenty yep. inch screen." And then watch it as they're not making their way back to the actual cinemas. But this one was a fun one. Um, another one of the, I guess, the issues that I took with with the plot line. Um, you know, the last one we saw, you know, Monster One, which turned out to be an alien, yep. right? Yep. So it turned out to be an alien. It wasn't a Titan. It was an alien. But yep. they were able to hook up the alien's <laughs> head. And like go through the dude, but then it kicked the dude out, and then the yeah. alien was talking through Mechagodzilla. Yeah. That felt like a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, even to... for even well, for this type of the movie, I get it's all a stretch, but even for this movie, it felt a but, little bit of a stretch. But we saw in the last movie when he ripped off the one head, it grew it back. Yep. So it is somewhat regenerative. And it can... So I'm just wondering if it still had some sort of life yeah, where with it. I, I see what you're back. saying because yeah. it looked like it just looked like a skull, you know. Yeah, like, and they used us. Uh, uh, psychic or psionics, whatever you want yeah, to say, psionic. to communicate between the three heads. So then so. where's the third head? Because they said one was in the Mecha Godzilla, one was there, the guy controlling it. Didn't did the Kong third squ squish one of them I or something? I think he got rid of one of them. I remember at the end, that was like the post-credit scene. Yeah, where they, going to somebody's buy buying one. it. Yeah, yeah well, I guess we'll to sell it. It was, it was well, the, hey, you know what? Well, remember what it was? It was the bad guy. You guys guy. comment on there. Let us. It was the bad guy in that one that was going to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, we didn't see him in this one. No, we didn't see yeah. him in this one, which makes me wonder as to whether he's going to be back oh. in, in the next one. Yeah. So, look, I, only time will tell. Re regardless of you know some of my gripes as far as the lack of security for Apex <laughs> and some of like, I mean, the Mac Godzilla was cool. That was right? cool. It was visually, it was really cool. It was rockets cool to see back. him take him out. You know, it was cool to see all that stuff. The, the delivery of it again with like it's hooked up to some alien DNA brain, eh, a little out there for me. But but again, and as look in, in the critical response section here on Wikipedia, it it really nails what the heart of these movies is, and that's just seeing a bunch of big monsters duke it out. Um, again, an experience I would like to have in a theater, so you get the giant sights and sounds. But uh, overall. Uh, so far, this was a really fun series for yeah. me. Mm -hmm. And if I'm being like totally honest, um, I, th these aren't movies that I would have. I probably sat down and watched start to finish. No, I would. Agree, I would agree with you on that, Oak. If not for all you guys out there, I never would have watched any of these. Uh, the first one when Brian Cranston would have been gone, I would have been yeah. gone. And even even <laughs> like you know, and it's the thing is we've been you know we've been doing the channel for a few years now, and. We catch ourselves saying this a lot, like, oh, it wasn't in my wheelhouse, or I wouldn't yep. have done this. And 
for as much as we trust everybody you know, on Patreon and YouTube for the recommendations they give us, I still felt a little bit skeptical when we started. Yeah, these. a little weary. I was like, I was like, okay, you know, the people love them. They haven't led us astray as of yet. I mean, most of these movies that I'm like, oh, I want to watch this. I end up just like loving it, <clears throat> minus Pride and Prejudice. Um, but, um, you know, <laughs> I had to throw that in there. But this one, this one for this whole series for me, I was a little bit skeptical about. But I think this is these were these were very entertaining movies uh, all the yeah. way around. I wish people would have said like before the first one, like heads up, starts a little slow, yeah, but it builds. It there, and, yeah. and maybe you know uh, and, they wanted us to let. Yeah. let ourselves but then again, there wasn't out. necessarily a place to comment on that. You know, we do the first one and then we put it out, and then people let us know. So it's yeah. not like. We put a section uh, like, hey, what what sort of heads up should we have, you know, going into these series? But these uh, these were these were a lot of fun. I'm really glad we watched these, and I would like to. These are movies that I will now rewatch mm -hmm. because I want to like sit. Fun and catch for the again. whole family. Yep. And, yeah. Well, yeah. we might <laughs> yeah. might not let the little guy yeah, watch this quite yet. So yet. 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 So until then, that's Abdelino. That's Mason Quinn, and I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals.